Off salute to the uncut fam boy. I was scrolling, I was scrolling, and I just found this. I just found this. I draw the line. Hold on, man. Candace Owens is snapping on Kim Kardashian. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what's going on with Balenciaga. I ain't seen it. But before I did hop on this stream, you know what I'm saying? We are recording from the live mob studio owners. Get up out all these youngers. That one. Me members. Before I hopped on this stream, I saw a couple posts, people saying something about canceling Balenciaga and I couldn't quite figure out what the hell was going on or why. Like, you know what I'm saying? Why, 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 why are they canceling Balenciaga? But shit. Candace Owens got something to say. And bruh, like or not, like or not, bruh, like or not, this year, this this year, specifically 2022, Candace been stepping on shit. Well, I ain't gonna, bruh, hey, Candace been, I know she gotta have on some Crocs right now. I know her feet tied. She been stepping on shit all year. I am a Candace Owens fan at this point, bruh. I can't agree with motherfucking a lot shit close to half of the shit she be talking about or none of the shit well shit i ain't gonna say none but like yeah like 80 percent of the shit from anything before 2022 i'm like nah dog this year though this year bruh candace been stepping on shit bruh let's see what she is dealing with right now is trying to figure out how to make you all forget about it so that you still buy her skims and her skin products and you still see her as a victim of everything. She's a victim. She's just gonna ride out the wave. Absolutely despicable. And no, we're not gonna just forget about it, Kimmy. We're gonna keep the heat on you because as a mother of two, as I am, this is where I draw the line. And I think that you need to be called out for your selfishness. It is easy to walk away from Balenciaga and Adidas, okay? They did it to your husband in about 30 seconds after one tweet. It is easy for you to walk away and to not just say it, but to mean it, that you condemn child grooming and pedophilia. What she mm -hmm. is dealing with right now is trying to figure Ooh. out how to make you all forget about it. Like did Kim walk away from Balenciaga, Candace? Owens is coming for Kim and vows to keep the heat on her, bro. Alright, hold on, man. Kim Kardashian breaks silence about Balenciaga's campaign where they are accused of sexualizing children. She posted, I guess, on the Instagram story. I've been quiet for the past two days, not because I haven't been shocked and outraged by recent Balenciaga campaigns, but because I wanted an opportunity to speak to that team to understand for myself how this could have happened as a mother of, as a mother i'm talking mother as a mother of four i've been shaken by those disturbing images the safety of children must be held with the highest regard and by anything against it where and anything against it should have no place in our society period you know what i'm saying i fucked it up so let me run that again the safety of our children must be held with the highest regard and anything against it should be fucking, <laughs> I keep fucking it up. Anything against it should have no place in our society, right? Let me make my goddamn, let me make this shit a little bit bigger, bit. I'm gonna have to do like Miss 504, give me some motherfucking lookers, man. Time to give me some looks. Salute to Miss 504. I love her so much, dog. Much love, Miss 504, for real. <laughs> I appreciate Balenciaga's removal of the campaigns and apology. And speak with them, I believe they understand the seriousness of the issues and will take the necessary measures for this to never happen again. So I get okay. Candace Owens called Kim out. She done made a post, said that she didn't speak publicly about it because she wanted to speak to them personally and get a, get some understanding. 
and now she's saying she appreciate and, and she appreciated that they, they removed these campaigns and apologized. She accept the apology, I guess. Like when the fuck did all this happen, dog? She ain't got some money. She might put a dollar. I don't care to say it. <laughs> See, <laughs> bro. We seen how fast Kim spoke out against Jay. Oh my God, bro. Burn. Like I'm saying, the video recorded in front of a live mob studio audience. Make sure y'all pull up on and rock with us, bro. But God. Hold on, man. So, you give Balenciaga wiggle room, you give Balenciaga the opportunity to, you know what I'm saying, have an understanding and accept Balenciaga apology, but like, guy you know what I'm saying, like, you was instantly on Kanye. You like, you don't, I don't, bruh. I don't know, bruh. I don't know. Hold on. We got another slide. As for my future with Balenciaga, I am currently reevaluate right <laughs> I'm currently reevaluating my relationship with the brand. I can read, I promise I can read, bruh. Don't y'all hey boy, I, Don't play, man. <laughs> no, no. Okay, I'm joking. I'm joking at this point. I'm joking at this point. And for my future with Balenciaga, I'm currently reevaluating my relationship with the brand, blasting it off their willingness to accept accountability for something that should have never happened to begin with. I'm currently reevaluating my relationship with the brand, basing, I'm talking about base, I said blasting, there's no L in sight, that's why I gotta get some glasses out. Hey, basing it off their willingness to accept accountability for something that should have never happened in the first place. And the actions I'm expecting to see them take to protect children. So, okay, bit. As far as she's saying it, goddamn. <laughs> well, I interpret for my jacked up ass goddamn reading. She ain't gonna goddamn drop Blenciago. But I bet, I bet Balenciaga will drop her motherfucking ass. But she still gonna rock with Balenciaga. She still gonna rock with Balenciaga. I mean, based off what? Their willingness to accept accountability for something that shouldn't have never happened to begin with. So is we gonna make, is we gonna make goddamn Balenciaga do like Kyrie? And is it gonna be a list of shit that Balenciaga gotta do before Kim K represent that brand? Man, Blitz, they don't give no fuck about. Okay. And watch it, like, for real, for real, if you feel like the brand is, is sexually exploiting children, why would the fuck you even, why would you wanna do business with them ever? Like, mistake for one there's no mistakes like that nobody makes those mistakes at that level at, at a Balenciaga level it's no mistakes bro everything is very meticulous calculated and well thought out nobody make those type of mistakes so for the motherfucker who is designing this shit like the, the, the brand the company itself is weird it's fucking weird, bruh. <laughs> if they sexualize the children, it's fucking weird. So it shouldn't be no room for a negotiation with, with future business with them. It should be no future business with them. It should be no future relationship with a motherfucker brand who sexualizes the children. And it's fuck you, boy. Y'all weird as hell. Stop. You know what I mean? Hell yeah, she's still making money, bruh. These Candace on her ass though. So yeah. Candace is calling Kim out for not ending her relationship with the brand. And to my understanding and what food we just read with my fucked up reading <laughs> from what we just read, bruh. 
Yeah, she ain't in no relationship with them. You can't be trusted. I'm sorry. Ken can't be trusted, y'all. I, mean, I don't know if you did or didn't, but shit, I'm, I'm letting you know now. God damn, yeah. She can't be trusted, my nigga. OG Junkers, they want new members alike. Catch y'all in the next one, broski. Peace.